Ranger was on his way to patrol the mountain when a tiger suddenly came out of the forest to block him. This tiger didn't look fierce. Its left eye was covered with a deep scar, but it could still be seen that it was very anxious. Seeing the ranger patrolling the mountain, it whined at him a few times. Then the tiger came to the ranger's side and grabbed the corner of his coat in its mouth and pulled hard, as if to pull him somewhere. The kind ranger followed the tiger to a cave. As a ranger, Mark patrolled the mountains with a weapon. Looking at the thriving trees, Mark knew that the forest just seemed peaceful, but there were animals everywhere that could threaten his life. After Mark worked for a while, suddenly a tiger appeared in front of him. It turned out that the tiger had a premeditated plan. It knew that Mark would patrol the mountain here so it hid in the grass on the side of the road early. When Mark came, it jumped straight out. Apart from a deep scar on the eye, the tiger didn't look fierce, but it looked anxious. It had an excited look on its face when it saw Mark at that time. It let out a low whimper at Mark, as if calling for help. Mark saw that the tiger had no intention of harming him, so he was relieved. He rested for a while on a stone next to him, then looked at the tiger and saw that it was not vicious. Its eye seemed to beg him, so he tried to ask if the tiger needed his help. The tiger seemed to understand what Mark was saying. It nodded gratefully at Mark and grabbed the corner of Mark's shirt and pulled him hard. With years of experience, Mark knew that the tiger had come to the roadside alone to ask for human help which meant it must be in trouble. But it was the first time he had been asked for help by a tiger, and the thought of being alone with the tiger frightened him. But seeing the tiger pacing anxiously in place, his heart softened, so he stopped thinking about it, and decided to follow the tiger to see what happened. So Mark followed the tiger to a cave. The cave wasn't that big, and a ray of light let Mark see a tiger lying inside. The tigress stomach bulged high and wailed in pain, seemingly in excruciating pain. Mark looked at the tigress lying down and thought about the sight of giving birth to its puppy, and he realized that the tigress was giving birth. He guessed it might have been a difficult birth. Mark knew that the tigress must have been very ferocious at the time, so he dared not step forward. The tigress had been tortured by the pain on its body for a long time. By the time Mark arrived, it was exhausted. Mark looked at the tigress in pain and felt distressed. He was conflicted, and in the end he had to step forward. As soon as he heard the footsteps of the stranger, the tired tigress immediately became vigilant. The tigress was lying on the ground desperately trying to get up, but it was very difficult. It roared desperately in Mark's direction, sounding scary. When the one-eyed tiger heard the tigress roar, it knew it was hostile to Mark. So it immediately went to the tigress and licked its head and stomach with its tongue, and then it looked at the tigress tenderly. It seemed to want the tigress not to be afraid, and to tell it that Mark was not the enemy, but came to save it. After the one-eyed tiger appeased the tigress, the tigress was no longer as frantic as before, but suddenly quieted down. Mark tentatively walked up to the tigress. Seeing how the tigress was suffering because of the distose, he hurried to its side to check its condition. Mark helped dogs deliver babies, so he knew a bit about that. However, the tiger could attack Mark at any time, and if the tigress attacked him, Mark would have no hope of surviving. The tigress seemed to sense that Mark really wanted to help it, so it obediently complied with Mark's arrangements. With Mark's help, the tigress gave birth to three cubs. As Mark watched the three cubs start to move, he placed them beside the tigress. The greatest joy in the world was to be a parent. The tiger couple was very happy to see the cub was born smoothly. They licked each other excitedly. Then Mark told the tigress to get more rest and nutrition, just like a patient. 
When Mark was about to leave the cave when he was done, the tiger couple gave him a grateful look. After walking out of the cave, the one-eyed tiger chased after him, with a pheasant in its mouth. It put the pheasant directly in front of Mark in return. Mark picked up the pheasant and put it back in front of the one-eyed tiger. Mark thought that the tigress had just given birth and was very weak, so it needed adequate nutrition. But the one-eyed tiger insisted on giving him the pheasant, and in the end Mark had no choice but to say earnestly that the tigress had just given birth to three cubs, so it was weak and needed the pheasant more than he did. He reassured the tiger that he would go to the cave to see how the tigress was recovering when he was patrolling the mountain tomorrow, and would not leave them alone. Watching the one-eyed tiger leave, Mark felt very relieved. In fact, even if the one-eyed tiger hadn't picked up the pheasant or sent him down the mountain, Mark would have visited them again while patrolling the mountain. It was already dark when Mark got home. His wife asked him why he came back so late. Mark laughed and talked about how he helped the tiger give birth. After hearing this, his wife was taken aback. His daughter GOA listened to their conversation yesterday. So when Mark went to patrol the mountain the next day, she really wanted to see the tiger her father saved, so she kept holding Mark and wanted to go to the mountain with him. Mark couldn't help it, and he finally agreed to take Gia A with him. He took Gia A towards the cave. When he came to the vicinity, he said to the tiger at the entrance of the cave that he had come to see them. As soon as he finished speaking, a one-eyed tiger came out of the cave and stood in front of Mark. It stretched out its neck and smelled Jaya's body. Gia took out the apple behind her and daringly held the apple in front of the one-eyed tiger to greet it. The tiger sniffed the apple, then bit the apple lightly and walked into the hole. Gia told her dad that the tiger ate her apple. Mark touched Jaya's head lightly and smiled and put the food he brought behind the cave. Then he pulled Gia A away. Gia A reluctantly looked back at the tigers and waved to them, saying she would come to see them later. After leaving the cave, Mark took Gia A to patrol the mountain. Mark looked at the happy Gia A and felt very relieved. A week later, the three cubs finally opened their eyes, much to the excitement of first-time parents. They showed Mark and Gia A their kids, which made Mark and Gia A very happy. After this incident, Mark and his family lived a peaceful life again. One morning Mark woke up early to go to the mountains. He was shocked as soon as he opened the door. There were several small tiger cubs of different sizes standing at their door, and they all stood quietly at the door with game in their mouths. They didn't look malicious. As soon as Mark opened the door, he recognized the tiger couple he had rescued. The tiger couple dropped the food in their mouths when they saw Mark open the door. Then they ran towards Mark and circled around him several times. The cubs also came running over and bit Mark's clothes, then clung to him. They were very happy after the reunion. His wife heard voices outside and came out. Seeing the tigers, she was a little surprised at first. But when she saw the pictures of the tigers and her husband being so close, she was very moved. One good turn deserves another. She knew that the tigers came to repay. Mark was very happy watching these little tiger cubs grow up. He took turns petting them and then feeding them the food from the family. The cubs surrounded Mark and rubbed hard on him. Since then, the tigers have become friends with Mark and his family. From time to time, the one-eyed tiger would bring its family to see Mark and bring them some game. The one-eyed tiger was afraid that Mark would be in danger when he went out, so it assumed the role of Mark's bodyguard. The one-eyed tiger escorted Mark every time he went out to patrol the mountains. There is true love among humans, and true affection among animals. When the tigress was in trouble, Mark saved it and its children without caring about the notion that humans and animals were different from each other, and this tiger thanked him for sending him game, and acting as a bodyguard. It was very touching. If one day, you also encounter an animal that asks you for help, 
then please don't betray its trust in you. Please do your best to help them. This is today's story. Click to subscribe for more interesting stories.